hey so there's this popular story you probably heard about about an old man who told a little boy to climb up a tree and that he should jump promising that he will catch him when he falls the innocent boy climbed up and did as told and at last the old man died the boy fell and got hurt the old man then looked in the boy's eyes and said boy trust nobody this story and its moral of this trust keeps spreading about and is widely accepted without giving proper scrutiny. The old man first of all deceived the boy, got him hurt in the process and had a sense of assurance in people. He pleaded one in the name of trust nobody, trust nobody. People like that boy having such experience will go about having a victim mentality that people are not to be trusted or relied upon. Trust is required in any relationship or transaction. Can you get in a business deal with someone you don't trust? Can you marry a woman you don't trust? Can you hire a chef you don't trust? Or can you share a secret with someone you don't trust? If you don't trust your teacher, how would you believe that he or she is impacting you with the right knowledge? The issue here is not a problem of trust, but trustworthiness. Who then should you trust? You should only place trust on people who are trustworthy. Someone who has proven a track record of honesty. Someone who didn't use your weakness or your vulnerability to hurt you. Someone who has a good record while dealing with other people. You should trust someone who is capable and has all it takes to solve your problem. And this is usually proven on how he or she has handled other people's problems. You shouldn't relate with people having a sense of doubt or insecurity concerning them. Why then did you relate with them in the first place? So, don't join the gang of people saying, trust nobody, trust nobody. Trustworthy people are still out there. You only need wisdom to find them. Are you one?